10 kilometers, and then it was all down. It was long, it was probably about 30 to 40 kilometers down. So we went through the most beautifulest range I've probably ever cycled through. There's just nothing but downhills, it's so dark. And carrying all that weight, you do not want your brakes to fail. Very busy though. We had to get right. to the ferry that night at 6 pm. And as soon as we got to, into the van, all the traffic, you got another flat tire. You're not going to change it? No, I think we're pretty close. I don't really want it. After cycling 100 kilometers, we eventually made it to Rick Cameron's house. We packed our bags, everything we need just for surfing. Rick then drove us to the ferry. Yeah, more than likely you're going to get there this week, I reckon. Mentalities are not easy to reach. If you have uh, to swim trying the last to keep it that way. Uh, They say the weather's going to be good, so... It's going to be better than that other ferry trip we took. Well, um, yeah, we're on the ferry to um, the Mentawai Islands, finally. After hard days of cycling, um, we're doing it. But um, this is... A pretty dodgy ferry boat and this is where everyone sleeps so I'm kind of waking them up so <laughs> I might walk across here so yeah the ferry should get in at about 7 a.m. where we're gonna catch the boat to uh, Colette, Colette sorry and we're just trying to get a boat ride to the bottom um, it's a two hour boat ride, there's no roads there, so... We thought we were catching a speed boat uh, down the, basically, the eastern side of the island through the ocean to the resort. And in fact, the speed boat has turned out to be a canoe with a motor on the back. And we're actually making our way, it looks like, through the mangroves, which are on the, uh, the side of the island. So we're not going in the ocean, just sort of cutting down, finally through the mangroves. It took us about four or five hours in this little boat from the top of the island to the bottom. And yeah, it was, it was quite a, it was interesting, it was fun, it was an experience. Surf tourism has really taken hold in the region. Now there are some 40 yachts and charter boats that work the area. Check out these guys. <laughs> Holy cow. So we made it to the island and Gross is out there surfing HT is by himself. Stroll down from the villa, check out the waves, and it's pretty good. <laughs> Seven days of solid surfing. You know, I think we should get out there, have a surf. Looks good.